Finally, my humongous Korea haul is here. Welcome back. I have got so much stuff to show you. Something from Chanel, which might be a bit controversial because I think you either love it or hate it. Something from YSL, something from Louis Vuitton. Two exciting bags as well. And obviously heaps and heaps of clothes, as you can see from the rack behind me. So I'm gonna get right into it and start off with Louis Vuitton because this is for you. Okay, so in here, this was actually the last thing that I purchased and I got it for you guys because this item is getting harder and harder to get. I've shown this so many times and let me just show you. So in here, I picked this up at Seoul Airport and yes guys, this is my favorite Louis Vuitton SLG, the mini pochette. And so it just came in and I snapped it up. I have given three of these away on my channel already and you guys love it and you've been finding it really difficult to get your hands on. So when I saw it, I'm like, yep, I've got to get it. So I'm thinking of giving it away for maybe Christmas or maybe a November to remember. Regardless, it's coming up really soon. I just love this little SLG mini bag. You can attach a longer strap to it and make it a little crossbody bag. And I got it in the classic monogram. I can't do a big shopping career without thinking about you guys. So that is the very first item. So get excited for it. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. Just hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload because I will be doing more giveaways. Not just this, but something else that I'm planning as well. Okay, so before we get into the rest of the Korea haul, so many of you asked me about one of the bags that I brought to Korea with me, and I showed this in my What I Wore in Korea. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. And the bag I'm talking about is my Fortuna bag, and I actually got this from Myrta, or I think in Italian pronunciation, it should be pronounced Mieta, but I love this bag so much. I'm a huge Wicker fan, and so I know a lot of you missed out on my exclusive and highest discount code. So I did ask Myrta if I could get a new code and I also picked up a couple of other bags that I want to show you first. So in this box here, let me show you. You guys are going to love this and I am just in love with their bags. So let me show you the first one. So luxury made by people, not brands. And for those of you that haven't heard about Murta before, they are this amazing platform and basically they curate and bring all these little small Italian artisans to our doorstep. They search for the best unseen Italian makers and unveil their creations. And it's all on this platform. And best of all, it's at such, such a good price. So let me show you the first bag. This is a beauty. And in here, ta it is this gorgeous bag. And this bag is called The Ray. And if you're thinking, does this sort of remind you of something? Yes, it totally gives me vibes of the Hermes Her Bag. Let me actually grab it, because I did bring it. So this is my vintage Her Bag. So it is slightly bigger, but as you can see, it has this top, well, this is in Vaquetta. It's an untreated leather. So it does sort of like mark and scratch up over time. But this one here is like 15 years old, maybe even older. But it, for me, it just adds to the character. And the thing about Vaquetta leather is that as you sort of scratch it, it sort of all patinas and evens out. 
and it just adds character to the bag. So that is my Hermes version, which you know with the her bag kind of costs like over 4,000 USD. And don't get me wrong, of course I love Hermes, but I know not everybody wants to pay the Hermes prices. And the best thing about all these bags are they are 100% made in Italy. They're made in Tuscany. This brand here is from an artisan called, excuse my pronunciation, Iriverdi, I think. <laughs> and I just love the pattern of it. This is the labyrinth pattern. And guys, guess how much this is? It is only 689 USD. Nowadays, with all the luxury brands increasing their prices, that would get you, as I've mentioned before, a card holder in Chanel, or maybe a very small wallet in other brands. And this is so well made. It has got a top handle. It has got a longer shoulder strap and it even has feet because as much as I love the her bag, one of my criticisms was it has no feet. And of course, when you sit your bag down, you want to protect it. And this one works a little bit differently from the her bag. It is actually much easier to get in and out of because there's this sort of magnetic closure. You just sort of pull down and up, but you can just see it closes really securely. And inside, they even wrote a little note to me, which I think is a, such a nice touch. Inside, it is just all canvas lined. It's got two little slit pockets. And even the slit pockets is lined with a little trim of leather, as you can see. So it's all the little details, which I really appreciate. So this bag here fits a ton. If it it's an iPad, if it it's all my essentials, like my mini pochette, my wallet, if it's a full size wallet, if it it's so much, so you don't need to worry about what to fit in this bag. And also, it, if you didn't like this particular pattern, I think it comes in eight or nine different variations. And as you can see with what I'm wearing, it just looks so chic. I would carry this to the office, just a beautiful casual bag. I know people tend to shy away from patterns, but this is just so such a classy pattern in my opinion. So about my code guys. So this one here, I said it's 689 USD, but if you click on my secret link below, I do have a code. And if you put in Mel times Murta 25, you get 25% off this price. So that takes this bag down to 517 USD. Oh my goodness. Plus shipping is free, duties is included. So most of their bags are actually handmade to order. There are a couple of styles which are available to ship, but I would say for the most part, it's all handmade to order, which is great for sustainability because yeah, they only make it in small batches and it's like they're, it's just made for you. But if you look at the website, it does say about how long it takes. Usually it takes about a month. So I was really pleased. I was eyeing this bag and I know I already love the her bag, but if if you guys love the her bag and you just want to test out the kind of style try this because for like five just over five hundred dollars look at this beauty and i did pick another bag from them and it is this cutie here Again, I love details, so I love the bamboo handle. This also comes in about four different colors and it's in this grained leather, so very, very durable, just a very simple design. This is made by an Italian artisan called Butti and they've been around since the 1950s. So yeah, again, I love that they've been operating for so many years. And it does come with a removable and adjustable shoulder strap. There you go. So if I open it up, it's a magnetic clasp. And inside it is all leather lined. And then it has a zip pocket as well. And, oh, and another pocket at the back here. So plenty of space in there as well. I can also fit my mini pochette, my card holder. Yeah tissues, all of that. So it might look small, but it fits all your essentials as well. So it's sort of structured, but the leather is still so supple. And this bag here, oh, it even comes 
well, with this little clochette. It doesn't have a key or anything, but you can also take this off. And this is only 470 USD. So for my other code, Mel times Murta 25, you can get 25% off any bags over 600 USD. So for the Ray bag, this is 689. So yes, it makes that cut off, but there's heaps of bags that are over 600, which you can use the 25% off. And this bag here, if you put in the code Mel times Murta 20, you can get 20% off all bags 400 USD or more. And that's like 95% of their bags. So there's two different discount codes for you because I didn't want to alienate those of you that may want to purchase something that's around $400. But if you did want anything over 600, you can get the 25% off discount code. But in order to access that, you've got to click on my secret link below. It is the highest discount code available. And I just want to thank Murta so much for partnering with me again on this video. I've mentioned them a couple of times before. Made in Italy bags, seriously, they have been producing bags for years and years. And I just love the whole concept. I love their bags. So those are my two new bags from Murta. Okay, so I'm going to stand up for this portion of the video because I have so many clothes to show you. I am going to run through this pretty quick because unfortunately I can't link any of these, but I will give you a couple of tips and tricks on what I think is the best things to sort of buy. So this is a mixture of local Korean fashion, vintage clothes, vintage designer clothes, and this one here, Star Nanda Pink Hotel, you have to go there purely just to see the store. All the different levels have got different themes and I showed that in my first Korea vlog, which I will link above. And from that store, I've already worn this outfit, so I'm gonna put a picture here, but I bought this blue shirt. I like that it's sort of like shorter up the front and then sort of asymmetrical at the back. And I bought that with these cute little striped shorts. Now, something with Korean fashion is that you'll find that everything is elasticated, which for me, I love because as I said, you can eat, you can feel comfortable. So you'll find that a lot in Korean stores. Either there's only like SML or it's free size. So those are the first two items that I purchased from Star Nanda. I think most of the clothes I purchased from the local Korean boutiques are like 100 USD and under. Some of them even 50 USD and under. Next up is something that I'm wearing and this I purchased from Coex Mall. You do need to go visit that library in Coex Mall. It is the most gorgeous, stunning library. And they also have tons of little boutiques there, which is so inexpensive. And I found one and I bought a heap of stuff. So this I purchased from them. It's called Nanning Nine. All the shops that I did purchase from, I would list them down below. So if you do go to Korea, you can look them up because yeah, I just love Korean fashion. So this is just a short sleeve linen sort of blouse. You can wear it open like this. And I also bought these elasticated linen-y pants from them. And I love these because they're loose, they're comfortable, and they're sort of a little bit cropped. So sometimes I know I'm very girly with my fashion. So I really wanted to get a few more looser pieces, a bit more cash pieces. And I just really liked how this looked. And I love these pants so much. I actually bought them the, exactly the same pair in an olive green. So elasticated waist as well with pockets. I also bought this dress from there. Yeah, it's called Nanning Nine. And this is the dress that I wore to Van Cleef and Arpel's Seoul. And I have a whole Seoul tour there and I'll link that above. I love it. So comfortable. I even wore this on the flight. And this is in a material that it already looks crinkly so you don't have to steam or iron. It kind of just looks that way. So that is a big plus. I also bought this orange dress and this dress here I'm actually bringing with me to Hawaii. It's just sort of very Hawaiian colors and I just love the floral print. Again, this was a free size, very loose, but yeah, little details like within the sleeve as well. They've given an extra puff because they put some sort of 
like chewly material there. And I would say most of the pieces that I bought were under $60, so very inexpensive. They were having like a sale. So go check out that store because that one was a real good one. Now, if you love late night shopping, then definitely go to the Dongde Moon area because all those sort of malls are open till 12. Actually, in the past, they were open till like 4 a.m. And so they have got Oh my gosh, you can spend a whole day there. Tons and tons of really packed little stores there. I wouldn't say the fabric is the best, but you can find some gems. And I only bought one outfit from there and it was actually this one. So again, it's in that sort of crinkly sort of fabric that you don't, you can kind of get away with it being a bit creased. And I just love the pale blue color. So it is a shirt and elasticated shorts and this came in various colors this one here because the fabric is a little bit better i think for the set it might have been just over 100 so for that area that's considered expensive because you can get dresses for ten dollars fifteen dollars i don't even have all the items here that i had bought miss s or sunshine because they've already worn it and it's in the wash or something but i would say for the most part you can get clothes and everything for under $50. But this one I just really liked, very casual, and I just love the color. Another one of our favorite areas was Hongdae, and it has tons of vintage shops. And so they've got a good mixture of vintage shops, food, local boutiques as well. So I picked up some vintage items, and the first one that I picked up was Actually, originally I wanted hubby to get this, but he didn't love it, but I liked it. So this is actually men's and it's a Polo Ralph Lauren style. And yeah, this was from Swinging Soul. And this one was about $69. And so it's not cheap, cheap, but for Polo Ralph, and this is in a really thick fabric, I just liked that there was all different sort of prints and colors on this. And I thought with a little pair of denim shorts, sleeves rolled up, I thought it was just, yeah, quite effortless. I don't usually wear shirts like this, but I just think this really worked. Another piece I picked up, and this is vintage, but sort of custom. You find that in a lot of the secondhand boutiques, you might find sort of luxury or designer goods that have been customized. And this one here, is actually a Levi's denim jacket, but someone had painted Totoro on the back. And I love Totoro. I remember as a teenager, I have the soft toys and little stationery. Probably have my Totoro soft toys somewhere, but I just thought it was the cutest thing. So it's an oversized Levi's denim jacket. So definitely check out all the vintage stores because you get one off pieces like this. And I just thought this was just too cute. And also from Hongdae, as I mentioned, there's a lot of just local boutiques. So I also picked up this pretty pink dress. I think this fabrication is, it must be very popular in Korea because this is similar to the material of this blue dress, but not the same either. It's hard to describe because they don't have the composition. And this I haven't worn yet. This one is free size. As I mentioned, it's free size a lot. And this was around 50 US dollars. And I just love the pale pink color. It's sort of loose so you can wear it opened up or you can wear it as a dress. And I also bought this hat from there because why not? It was just on the mannequin and I, just wanted a little bit of sun protection because we went during summer. So yeah, I think this hat might've been $20. So yeah, just really cheap. You can go nuts in Korea because the fashion is just so inexpensive, but still pretty good quality. Oops, I forgot one more. I think this was in Hongdae. I can't remember, but another little boutique. I just bought a pair of, I told you, I really want to buy some looser pants. You don't, you guys don't see me wearing pants as much. I'm always in dresses or skirts. So in Korea, they love wearing pants. So it kind of suited me. I just loved this cream color. I think it will look really elegant with heels, with loafers, anything really. So yeah, I kind of remember the price of this. I think it was around $60 or something like that. And again, elasticated waist. 
And then even when we went to Ixiongdong, which you guys have to go because they're really known for their sort of quaint little alleyways and so much food, I found a secondhand designer vintage store. And I picked up this super cool, very 80s sort of looking, real leather jacket from Chloe, but I think previously they had a diffusion line, so it was Miss Chloe. And hubby doesn't like this, but I think it's in the it's in the most buttery leather. And I don't know, I just really liked it. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know if you like it in the comments below. I believe I paid about $110, which I thought even if it was just a full leather jacket in any other store, it would cost three to four times that price. So I like the color. I like that it was a bit sort of oversized. It's got the 80 shoulder pads, but I think it's a bit of fun. And from the same boutique, I actually even found hubby something that he liked. And it is this vintage YSL zip up jacket. Only a very small logo. You guys know hubby does not like too much logo. If you saw my last video, what I got for his birthday, you would know that. So he really liked it. It's in one of his favorite colors. He's actually really into all versions of green, uh, sage green like this or military green or olive green. So when he saw this, he's like, I really like it. And I really liked it on him too. Plus I can borrow it as well. And the final two pieces of clothing I got was these two. They were from the same store. And one of them is this dress. It's from Second Street. Honestly, guys, I cannot remember where this was. I think it was around the Gangnam area, but it was really inexpensive, 39,000 won, which is about, it's less than $39 USD. And this one here is not vintage. Yeah, this is made in Korea. So I think it's just one of their local brands. It is a strapless dress. And yeah, I just really liked the small little print. I love long dresses. I love tiered dresses. So that's why I bought that. And then the last item I bought was this pale pink ruffled blouse. This was 29,000 won. So yeah, about $29 USD. It was just very, very pretty. And it's, it's slightly sheer. So this you can just wear to work. You can wear casual, dress up or down. So those two are the final pieces that I bought. Okay, let me show you some of the pieces that I bought from, let's start from YSL. So from YSL, I actually didn't vlog the store because this was when all of it was closing. So I pretty much went in, purchased it, because I already knew that I love it. So let me just show you. <laughs> You're gonna think, not another one, Mel. Yes, guys, this had just hit the YSL store and dun, dun, dun. Yes, it is the YSL clutch bag. You guys know that I already own the black. I own the olive green but I don't have the one with the tri-quilting. And so it does come with this detachable handle, which you can wear as a clutch, but I've shown you this so many times before and I've done a short on it, which I'll link above. But all I do is I put an insert in there, put my own chain in there. You can remove this, or if you didn't want to buy the insert, another trick I have is pull this over though this is not secure and you can attach a chain here and it has a D ring here as well. And then you just add a chain and then it becomes a crossbody bag. So this one, I love the color. Look at this purple. I don't have a bag in this color. I have two in the traditional chevron pattern already. So I really wanted this in the tri quilting. So I bought that from YSL. And then I have revealed this, but some of you may have missed it. It was my whole Van Cleef & Arpel store tour, but my biggest purchase of the trip, which to be honest was not planned, was this item from Van Cleef & Arpels. And this one is so special because it is a Seoul exclusive. You cannot buy it unless you're in Seoul. There was, I think two left and it is the 20 motif necklace. And this is so, so stunning. I've already worn it and that is what it looks like. So this one is rose gold gilche with white mother of pearl. It came in the bracelet version. It came in the necklace, the bracelet sold out. And this was to commemorate the Seoul Boutique's opening, which it only opened 
on the 29th of May, I believe. It's just oh, stunning. I wanted a 20 motif necklace and this one is perfect. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the regular 20 motif necklace. I think it was about 26,000 Australian dollars or just over. You do get about 7% back in tax for all designer goods, not all the local boutiques unless they offer tax free, but you do get 7% back. It's only a couple thousand more than the standard like solid 20 motif mother of pearl necklace so i just thought there was a this was a one-of-a-kind piece i wore it to my farfetch dinner got lots of compliments and yeah i just adore this necklace and then finally yes i did purchase something from chanel and i actually know a lot of you don't like it and you don't think it's worth it i had such a good experience in a chanel actually in korea very much contrast to Australian boutiques. But anyway, let me show you what it is. Oh, my camellia fell off. So in here, I purchased, ready? Dun, dun, dun. And tell me your honest thought, guys. So the essay was so kind. I don't know if you can see, but he gave me a whole bunch of camellias in the box as well. Let me just put this down to reveal Ta -da! <laughs> this seasonal flap bag but what makes this special which i think is a love hate thing for a lot of people but i loved it actually hubby was the one that spotted it and it does actually have all these hearts on there and I guess this was special because it's got five and for us it's like we're a family of five now that we have Chino so I love that it had five hearts. I also love that this takes on inspiration from their vintage collection because they also had this heart sort of piece in their vintage jewelry collection which you guys also know I'm a huge vintage lover. So yeah, I just liked that it had a little bit of that vintagey detail. The size is slightly smaller than the Chanel rectangular mini flap, but it still fits my phone, which was really important. I also really liked the pale pink colorway. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Now this is not an everyday bag because some of you might not like the chains because when you're wearing it, I guess it could be a little bit noisy but I don't mind. I actually really love the heart detail on the chains. I think that's just really pretty. And then to open it up, it does have the turn lock closure. So all the elements of like the traditional mini flaps, but this one is just slightly smaller. And inside it's all leather lined in pink. It has the classic back pocket as well. And this came in, I think, white. And then there was another version, I believe, in black. But I have to admit, in this leather, this lambskin is really soft. I did see the grey version, which I think the chain was slightly different. It was actually really creased. But this particular one that I got, it was fine. It was perfect. I did check it. And yeah, I just thought it was the prettiest pink. And this one actually did work out slightly cheaper than Australia. So that is it for me, guys. My huge career haul, heaps of fashion, something from Chanel, from YSL, and then the little Louis Vuitton mini pochette, which I am going to give away coming up. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to make use of my highest and exclusive murder code. And you can do that by clicking the secret link. It is only valid for one week, guys. That's all I could get it for. But it is the highest that you'll see amongst anyone. So I absolutely adore my Ray bag and my Bella bag. I just think Italian made artisan bags are so special and just perfecto. So I will leave all the links to everything down below and my exclusive codes. Please do let me know if you get anything from Myrta. I love their bags and yeah, I will always work to get the best discount codes for you. If you wanna see all these things styled, follow me on Instagram. This is my account here. Thank you so much for your patience and waiting for this video and I will catch you soon in my next one. Bye guys.